Hello guys, today I'll be explaining recursions a little bit more uh, using the greatest common divisor and using recursion to solve the problem of the greatest common divisor. Uh, the greatest common divisor is actually something where you have some inputs and you're searching for the biggest number which you can use to divide these t uh, two numbers in this example. Okay, and just to erase this and to give you give a little recap on what is a recursion well a recursion is something similar to a loop and it actually consists of a base state base case and uh, something that will lead you towards the base case so a base case will actually give you the result and stop your method from running forever and the uh, other case is something that will just lead you towards the base case okay it will decrease an argument in this example over here and eventually the argument will become zero and it will stop the process okay so x is equal to 18 we'll go through the program and uh, y is equal to 7 first of all we check if y is equal to 0 y is equal to 7 so this returns false uh, we go to the else statement which returns actually this the method over here so this is actually the recursion so the uh, the y will be 7 so we actually returning we didn't change the value of 7 but we will change the value of x and x will be the remainder of the division of these two numbers over here okay so this is the sign actually the percentage sign indicates that uh, represents actually the modulo, so the remainder of two numbers. For instance, if you get 5 divided by 4, the remainder will be 1. Okay, so in this example, x will be what? It will be 4. Why? Because 18 divided by 7, 7 can go 2 times into 18, and the remainder will be, of course, 4. So now what do we do? We move up, and what, what do we have? We have uh, x which is equal to 7 and y is equal to 4 now don't get confused don't get confused guys uh, because uh, here it says that y is equal to 7 but y is placed into the position of x over here when looking at this method okay and actually uh, y uh, is equal to 4 because the result of this second argument which is y is actually equal to 4 okay so once again we go through the method and we see that y, uh, y is not a uh, 0 it's 4 so it's false the, uh, the if statement is false we go to the else statement and what do we do we just wanna we have the y which didn't change and it's 4 and the x will be what the x will be 7 divided by 4 it's actually 1 and the remainder is what 3 okay okay so again we move up and x is equal to what it's equal to 4 I think you understand now why because it's actually x is in this position and y is in this position okay and y will be equal to 3 okay you raise this again we go through is y equal to 0 no it's 3 go to the else statement and we've got now y is equal to 3, again it didn't change, and x will be the remainder of uh, this division. What's 4 divided by 3? Uh, it's actually 1, because 3 can go into 4 once, and the remainder is 1. Okay, now we move up, and, and what is x? x is actually equal to 3, and uh, y is equal to 1. Okay, let me erase this now. Uh, again, we check the first if statement. It returns false because it's not y is not zero. Zero. It's actually one. And again, uh, we put here y didn't change again. Y is equal to what? It's equal to one. And uh, what's uh, three divided by one? Well, you guess. Three divided by one. Well, the remainder of uh, one can go into three three times. Okay, so the re remainder will be zero. Okay, x is equal to 0. Again, we go up. And now we've got what? We've got x, we've got, uh, I'm sorry, we've got x is equal to 1. 
okay and y is equal to zero don't get confused over here and uh, again we check the first if statement is y equal to zero yes finally what do we then do we return the x okay and that's actually the greatest common divisor the greatest common divisor for numbers 18 and 7 is 1 so just write, write, write it down GCD of numbers 18 and 7 is actually 1 okay so you see the method eventually stopped and it gave you the result it returned actually X okay so just let me debug to see if I'm right. Yeah, we have number one. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll be posting more tutorials. Uh, they will become harder and harder. These are some simple recursions, uh, but eventually I think that you'll get a, you get a decent, uh, you get some pretty good information about what a recursion is and how it functions. Uh, my next tutorial will be. On Hanoi, of towers of, I will be explaining recursion on uh, towers of Hanoi. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys, and see ya.